Welcome! In this tutorial, you'll explore the first application within the Bose Professional Video Bar VB family suite of software packages. It's called Video Bar Configuration. This application serves two purposes, user control and administration configuration. While VB devices are designed for plug and play connectivity out of the box, there are some configurable features that installers and support teams can choose to enable. Video Bar Configuration is one of the applications that can be used to enable these features. This application has many robust features to learn, so it's been broken into a two-part tutorial series. In part one, I'll teach you the different versions, where to download, how to connect, why it's required, and about the user control homepage. In part two, you'll learn about the password protected administration area covering system configuration settings for camera, audio, network, and control. So let's get started with part one. There are two versions of video bar configuration, a standalone app and a web UI version. The standalone app runs on the desktop and makes a local connection via the USB-C port on the back of VB devices. This version is recommended for first-time use and will enable you to set up the network setting. The second version, called Video Bar Configuration Web UI, uses a network connection and can be accessed remotely once the network capabilities of a VB device are configured. There's one main difference between them. The standalone app provides a user control homepage, whereas the web UI version is strictly used for admin configuration and doesn't provide the user control capabilities. Both versions have the exact same admin settings. Now that you know about the two versions, I'll start with the Video Bar Configuration standalone app. So let's begin with where to get it. You'll find it located at BoseProfessional.com. Navigate to Products and choose Conferencing. From here, choose Video Bars. At the bottom of the Video Bar VB1 or VBS pages, you can find our software downloads. The standalone application is available for Mac or Windows. For our walkthrough, I'll download and install the Windows version to my local computer. Once installed and opened, the home page provides a notification to connect your conferencing device. I'll now connect my VB product using the included USB cable. Once connected, the home page includes camera control settings that are accessible to the connected user. These controls duplicate those which are on the IR remote. A live video stream can be used as a reference point when adjusting camera settings with the controls below. The directional left and right arrow keys provide camera left and right pan control. The up and down arrow keys provide tilt up and down. Press a button once to pan or tilt the camera in increments or press and hold for continuous pan or tilt. In the center, there's a home button that returns the camera view to a predefined home position that can be programmed within the administration section introduced later. Below the directional arrows, there are two camera presets labeled one and two. The user can position the camera's pan, tilt, and zoom settings and save the preset by right-clicking the chosen preset button and selecting save new preset. These presets can also be programmed in the admin area shown later. Between the preset buttons, you have the auto frame button. Auto framing automatically and continuously adjusts the pan, tilt, and zoom camera settings to include all participants in the room. Selecting any of the pan, tilt, or zoom camera controls or preset buttons when auto framing is enabled will automatically disable it. When auto framing is turned off or when auto framing access is disabled, the icon appears crossed out. Next is the camera's zoom in and out slider. There are a couple of ways to change the parameter. The first is by clicking and dragging the slider. Your icon will change to a hand, and you can move it to the left to zoom out and move it to the right to zoom in. Or you can click on the desired position and the slider will snap to it. The slider for volume control functions in the same way. The last control is an overlaid icon inside the video window. It's the low light compensation feature that can be enabled or disabled. This automatic low light correction optimizes the video when used in dim lighting conditions. In the left column, the gear icon provides information about the app version, device, firmware, and internal camera version, plus access to the user guides and legal information. Please note the internal camera version data is exclusive to the VB1, and when connected to a VBS, this bit of info is not displayed. This completes part one. In part two, you'll explore the password protected administrator configuration settings that are accessible from the bottom administration icon. So to close this tutorial, your key takeaways are video bar configuration is the software application to control and configure VB devices. There are two versions, a standalone app and a web UI. 
First-time device configuration is best done with the standalone app connected via the USB-C port. The standalone app runs on Mac or Windows, and the standalone app provides user controls while the web UI does not.